Tonight from Texas Hall, Metro Sports presents a national wheelchair basketball matchup, a Division I matchup between the Wildcats of Arizona and the moving Mavs of UTA, the defending national champions. UTA at 9-3, and, and Arizona comes in at 7-5. And, and welcome to Texas Hall, everyone. John Nelson, our Metro Sports production crew, and our first look at uh, Jim Hayes' squad this year. Again, uh, UTA, the defending national champions. They've won seven down through the years and the regular season winding up. This team comes in, the wheelchair Mavericks averaging 63 points a game and they only allow 47. So it has been a good year offensively for the wheelchair Mavericks. They are comprised of seven players. Now the Southern Conference comprised of five teams, UTA at nine and three, Arizona, just two games back, and then Alabama, Oklahoma State, and Missouri. Mavericks most recently having played and defeated Alabama. Arizona, a lopsided victory over Oklahoma State, and the moving Mavs over Alabama, 66-33. That improves their record to 7-3, and three, or 9-3. and three. And again, both teams comprised of uh, seven players. And the Mavericks have a young man that's averaging well over 20 points a game. Now, the Arizona Wildcats are coached by Derek Brown. He is in his third year as they go through their last-minute warm-ups at Texas Hall. Mike Applegate leads the team in scoring. Brendan Downs, this team likes to shoot for three. He's sunk 12. Evan Yorick is the best free throw percentage shooter, and Brendan Downs also leading in assists. But Coach Hayes kind of concerned of the transition game today for UTA. There's Coach Jim Hayes, who has developed the only college team in the country that has full scholarships for wheelchair basketball in a nice 15-year span, and he's won 85% of his games. But Arizona likes to shoot the three. Aaron Googe. Comes in averaging 22 points a game. Danny Fick, a junior, averaging 11, leads the team in assist. And David Wilkes is the team's leading rebounder. David Wilkes from Charlotte, North Carolina, a freshman, averaging 12 rebounds a game. Three Texans are on the wheelchair Mavericks, so three of the seven are native Texans. And we'll talk a lot about uh, their accomplishments. A couple of kinesiology majors and we're going to be joined by Corey Huggins once the game starts, a former manager here for the last couple of years, and get an insight on uh, this 06-07 uh, UTA squad. So Arizona at 7-5, UTA at 9-3. We're back from Texas Hall in this wheelchair matchup right after these messages. With anticipation, you, Jill Beeler, walked into that video store for the very last time. For you had discovered movies on demand from Time Warner Cable. Hundreds of hit movies right in your own home without the hassle or late fees. You returned that movie and gave the video store the long wave goodbye. Ms. Beeler, you not only discovered the power to watch hit movies on your time, you discovered the power of you. Discover the power of digital cable with movies on demand. Call Time Warner Cable today, 972-PICK-TWC. Welcome back to Texas Hall. John Nelson joined by Corey Huggins, the National Wheelchair Basketball matchup between Arizona and the Wheelchair Mavericks of UT Arlington. The starters being introduced for the Wildcats of Arizona. Again, Brendan Downs, Mike Applegate, Evan Ulrich, Ryan Stevens, and Eric Harris, the starting five for head coach Derek Brown. And again, their overall record, seven and five. We'll get into some of the rules and the different divisions as this game progresses. James Patkin, Danny Fick, Tyler Garner, Aaron Googe, and David Wilkes, the starting five for UTA. Now, this afternoon, Tyler Garner will wear number 31. This is the only tournament of the year that the Wheelchair Mavericks host, and this culminates a three-game series at Texas Hall. Corey, what 
should we expect this afternoon for UTA? They have a little bit of a height advantage. We know that Arizona likes to shoot the three, but what can we see from Jim Hayes' squad today? I think we'll see a lot of ball moving around the perimeter and a lot of uh, post play by David Wilkes and both Aaron Gooch. You were the manager the last couple of years. You know these guys pretty well. Uh, how would this team compare to the championship team of last year? Uh, they, they would compare pretty good. Uh, last year we lost. From last year to this year we lost uh, our three main scores. Uh, but this year they've come along strong. They've been working hard, so they they compete really well. Now these guys, you look at their major at UTA. Danny Fick is a public relations major. Aaron Gooch, a kinesiology major, as is Tyler Garner, David Wilkes, and James Patkin, or Patton, and then Jay Russell, a PR major, and a business major, Jeff Sales. Jeff Russell, uh, Jeff Sales and Jay Russell, the two newest additions. Do you know much about uh, their style of play? Uh, Jay Russell, uh, he, 